In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Mongoose OS with Blink. Blink is an Internet of Things platform. It's fantastic, highly recommended. I have vanilla new Node MCU here connected to my laptop and a Blink app installed. First, we clone Mongoose OS repository. It's done. Go to Mongoose OS, FW, examples, C underscore blink directory, and type MOS build minus minus arch ESP8266. This is going to build a firmware. Okay, done. MOS flash to flash it. Configure Wi Fi, MOS Wi Fi network name. And a password. Done. Now let's go and create a new project in Blink app. So let's give it a name. Test one, for example. Okay, so project is created and we should be getting an email from Blink with the authorization token. So what we do, we copy this token and type MOS config dash set blink dot auth equals that token and type MOS console to see the device logs. So uh, what we're going to see is that the device it connects to the Blink server. I start an editor to see what the firmware is doing. Okay. And continue with the logs. This example firmware, it implements the reading from the virtual pin one and it reports the amount of free RAM in kilobytes. And also it writes to the virtual pin two, which is in reality attached to the built-in blue LED of this Node MCU board. So let's go to an app and configure two things. First, uh, let's create a button and attach it to the virtual pin two. Okay. It's virtual pin two. and create a graph and call it memory from 0 to about 50k and attach it to the virtual pin 1. Okay. And now let's start. That connects to the real device. And we can see the, uh, the readings of free memory. If we click on, on off, we can see that the blue pin is blinking. And by the way, I think we should be making a toggle button. So a switch button. And now when we press it, so we can switch it on and off. Okay, and what we can do is we can make this graph a line graph instead of bar graph. Let's try to use some RAM on this device to see how the graph goes down. Mongoose OS runs a web server, so let's connect to it and refresh many times just to see how it goes down. So we can see that the device, the, the, the RAM reading slightly goes down and now it'll go up. If you like this video, please click on like. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please comment. Thanks and see you later.